What's going on everybody? Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Today I want to show you how you can create vector graphics for After Effects using the Adobe Capture app. Adobe has a number of really cool mobile apps that work in conjunction with their desktop applications. Now one of my personal favorites is the Adobe Capture app. Now you can use the Adobe Capture app to capture a photograph with which you can create patterns, color schemes, brushes, looks, and even vectors all from that single photograph. All of your mobile app creations will save to your Adobe Creative Cloud account and are accessible from within the desktop applications via the Libraries panel. For this tutorial, I want to show you how in four easy steps you can use the Adobe Capture app to create a vector shape for use in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to be turning this sketch of this T-Rex into a vector. So for step one, I want to create a new vector. To do this, I will select the plus button under the Shapes tab of the Adobe Capture app. This will activate the camera on my phone. With a single tap, I can switch between Live and Shape Preview Modes. Live Preview Mode provides me with trace lines in green, while Shape Preview Mode shows me what my final shape will look like. I can use the slider bar at the bottom to adjust the intensity of the trace lines to help get the look that I want. When I'm happy, I can capture the image. Now that I have the T-Rex sketch captured, I can make further refinements. You'll notice that I have two tabs, including Refine and Crop. First, I can crop the image to remove some of the unwanted content and then I can clean it up by refining it with the Select, Deselect, and Erase tools. Finally, I can finish by turning Smoothing on. Now the image is ready to save. To save my new vector shape, I'll simply add a name and select a library. I can create a new library or save it to the default space. This saves the vector shape to my Creative Cloud library. As long as I have an internet connection, my new shape will show up in all of my corresponding Adobe desktop applications, including Premiere, Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects. Now I'll go over to After Effects and import the shape. So before we go over to After Effects, I want to show you really quickly my assets on my Adobe Creative Cloud page. Here you'll see that my mobile creations were created here. The T-Rex was saved into the cloud here as an SVG vector graphics file. So now I can go over to After Effects. And if you look here, there's the Libraries panel here. And you can see all of the same assets here ready for use. So I'm going to grab this vector file here. Control click and select add to project. So it's added our file over here in the project panel. Now I'm going to grab this and bring it over straight in our comp. Now there's a few problems here. We can see that it's not transparent. So let's look over here and if you notice it's actually importing it as a PNG file. So at the moment this workflow isn't perfect because After Effects does not support SVG files at the moment. So it brings everything in as a PNG. So the workaround for me right now, if I want to have the transparency and I want to import this as a true uh, vector graphic file, I need to go over to Illustrator. So if we go over here to Illustrator, you'll notice I have the same panel open here, our Libraries panel. We can see our T-Rex graphic. I'm going to grab that, bring it in here, and then I'll do a quick and simple save as an Illustrator EPS file. I can save that out, click OK, and then I can bring in that EPS file straight into After Effects. And when I bring in the EPS file, we have our transparency of our vector art here, and it's ready to go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.